dude. <laughs> oh, it's even better than I imagined, dude. What's up, guys? Welcome back. We are doing a series on another Mosaic Damascus build. A pattern we haven't done before. We're going to try to incorporate a bunch of different elements. But first, let's design it. So, here we go. All right, guys, so we have kind of sketched up what we want to try to do. Um, this is a take on some of my other previous mosaics um, with a couple of elements changed to give us some different looks in the pattern. Um, it's a pretty standard mosaic, nothing too crazy or out of the ordinary. Um, and you're gonna have to kind of bear with me on imagining because I don't draw very well. So we're gonna start with our initial stack. The blue is gonna be 1084, which is gonna be a dark color. 15 and 20 will be red, which is going to be the bright color. So we're going to start with a thick layer of bright 15 and 20 on top, and then do 10 to 12 alternating layers of 1084 and 15 and 20, and then a thick dark line, a thick bright line again, alternating layers, and then cap that off with a thick dark one at the bottom. Because um, we're so what we're establishing are two dark areas and two, two thick dark lines and two thick uh, white lines, and I'll show you what that's going to look like later. But we're gonna take that stack, condense it down, um, round the ends and start our crush W's. And so we're gonna take that into this first bar here. This, these are all end grain looks. Um, and so once we've crushed this down, our end thick pieces become our ends of the stack. We have the alternating layers in between and then our two thick lines in the middle. And we're gonna cut that bar and restack it. How many times will depend on what the steel ends up being. Um, I want to go for at least four, five, six, at least five or six uh, restacks. We're then going to forge weld that and we're going to bias it on the 45 to give us a, a diagonal pattern inside the square bar. And here, what's that's going to give us on this corner is it's going to give us a thick dark corner on one end and a thick uh, bright corner on the other end. And then we're going to have those thick alternating dark and light lines in the middle with all of our tights W squiggly um, alternating layers in between. We're then going to take that and we're going to four-way it into a four-way and so I haven't fully filled in these just yet but when you four-way these we're going to put all the dark centers together that's going to create our, our, our dark center that's going to have jagged lines all around it's going to look really cool but we want to keep that dark center there that's going to give us dark, uh, bright on the corners. And then we have our, of course, our, our high layer W alternating in between on both. I'd only drew it on the outside, but it's also going to be on the inside here. We're going to take that four way. We're going to four way it again. And as you can see here, what this is going to give us is since we've created a bit of a diamond look here, we're going to start repeat diamonding just like that with our dark centers. But what we're also doing here is we can now pair up all of our bright edges. So our dark centers are gonna create a center in the middle of this one. And then our triangle will keep going. So we're gonna get these bolder triangle patterns inside a high layer crush W that's going to be the perimeter of all of those lines. Um, it's a little, it's a lot to try to pack into on a whiteboard with a Sharpie. So I don't have all those little W's transferred over from this step. But from there, we're just going to take it to a three quarter by two inch bar, tile it out and repeat that pattern down the face of the bar. So that's the game plan. Let's go stack steel and light the forge.
right, so we forge weld to the first stack, crush the ends, roll it into a crushed C pattern, and now we're just gonna let this cool, chop it up, restack, and make our crushed W's. Red Label, best belts in the game. We surface grind and four away.
All right, guys, so we've got our second four-way done. We're gonna put it in the fire. Now, we are going to draw this out to our billet that we're gonna cut our tiles from, flip the pattern to the face. So we're gonna aim for about two inch wide by three quarter thick. Let's go. All right guys, so we've got the bar drawn down to about three quarter inches thick, two and a quarter inches wide. And that's where I like to take it to, to prep for the tile cut. So we're gonna rip all the scale off this, off all four sides. Uh, we're gonna cut our ends off and then we're gonna surface grind all sides till it's perfectly smooth and clean. And then we're gonna mark out our 45 degree tile cuts and we're gonna saw it up, flip, weld it up, back in the forge. Let's go. back had to make a quick run to the uh, welding supply store we were out of argon gas for the TIG welder but now we've got all of our tiles cut up and we're gonna go buff them clean them up a little bit and prepare to stack them all together lay them out and TIG weld all the seams closed and then we're gonna throw it in the forge so let's go
they've been sitting in the acid for a few minutes. Now we're going to do a quick, uh, quick check seat. Dude. <laughs> oh, it's even better than I imagined, dude. Oh. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe.